What's up all my good people? I hope you guys are well and I hope you all had one amazing week so far. Today's Friday and I'm only dropping this video on Sunday so I'm in a good mood, right? But guys, honestly, before I say anything else, I do want to thank each and every one of you guys because we are at 60,000 YouTube subscribers. It would not be possible without you guys supporting along the way. Now, in today's video, we are going to take a look at cheap cars, anything under 100,000 Rand that will make you look cool because there's a lot of young jeans, a lot of young ladies that want to look cool but don't have enough money to buy something like a VW car. GTI, a Ford Focus ST, and that is why I'm doing this video for you guys that don't have enough money to buy those expensive cars, but you want to look cool. Now, be in mind, all these cars you will not be able to finance, and they will have green decorative stickers, meaning they either need minor or major repairs to pass a road worthy test. Like I said on one of my previous videos, that when I bought my car at We Buy Cars, it had a gold decorative sticker, meaning the car will pass a road worthy test. As soon as they put the car through road worthy, they put a platinum decorative sticker on the vehicle because the car obviously has passed a road worthy test. And guys, honestly, at this point, I don't think all these videos are about we buy cars. At this point, we're just having fun with these videos. We have a bonus car at the end of today's video. So stick around for the bonus car and let's see what cheap cars we can find today at we buy cars that will make you look cool. Cheers. Wow. I think this is a BMW 135i. It sounds like one. Give us a rev. Give us a rev. Come on. Yo, boring. So, guys, since summer is around the corner, and I know there's quite a number of people with hot flashes, they got something here for you. It's a 2010 BMW 120i convertible and this car is powered by a 2 litre motor that puts out 115 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 9.2 seconds. All its power are being sent to the rear wheels via a 6 speed automatic gearbox and this car is going for 83,000 Rand. It has 216,000 kilometers on the clock. Be in mind, none of these cars can be financed. It has a green decorative sticker. The reason for that is because all four tires are smooth. There's something wrong with one of the rear seats and also the bonnet lever is broken. The paint has faded on the bonnet as you can see right there. But this car is riding on the standard 16 inch wheels wrapped with Kumo tires at the front and also both the rear wheels are wrapped with Continentals. Overall guys, this car is in good condition. I don't see any scratches, no damage and this particular car has front and rear parking sensors as you can see from this angle as well this car is honestly in great condition and the car is locked but like i said guys this car has a six-speed automatic gearbox fully the interior air conditioning power steering a multi-function steering wheel with cruise control and voice control and this car doesn't have a full service history with a fuel consumption of seven liters per hundred kilometers so yeah this is the first car for today that is cheap and will make you look cool so if you want to simplify looking cool, they have a 2009 VW Tenacity powered by a 1.4 liter 4 cylinder motor that puts out 55 kilowatts and a 0 to 100 time of 11.7 seconds. Obviously this is a front wheel drive vehicle with a 5 speed manual gearbox and this car is going for 72,900 Rand. It has 112,400 kilometers on the clock. And guys, sorry for the background lighting, but the only reason for the green decor sticker is because this car is riding on a coilover suspension. It has these 15 inch wheels wrapped with Dunlop tires all around. And as you can see, the bumper, the fender, the bonnet, everything lines up perfectly. And this car has smash and grab windows and there's no rust on the body of the vehicle. It has an aftermarket exhaust stop right here with city mud flaps. And honestly, in my opinion, the exterior of this car does justify the mileage. And either the door handles aren't working or the car is locked. But regardless, this car has a 5-speed manual gearbox with air conditioning and power steering, manual windows and manual mirrors. And this car doesn't have a full service history with a fuel consumption of 7.5 liters per 100 kilometers so yeah this is the second car for today so to all the Toyota fanboys that wants to look cool on a budget, they have this 1992 Toyota Conquest powered by a 1.6 liter 16 valve motor that puts out 77 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 10.4 seconds. This car sends all its power to the front wheels via a 5 speed manual gearbox and I forgot to mention this is actually the sport variant of the Toyota Conquest. It has a cash price of 57,900 Rand with 258,671 kilometers on the clock. Now the reason for the green decorative sticker is because 
because this car is riding on lowering springs and they say that the shock absorber of that wheel is damaged these are 15 inch wheels wrapped with falcon tires all around and this car is actually in great condition it even has a glass sunroof with the original conquest sport boot spoiler and it has a tow bar at the back with aftermarket rear tail lights and also an aftermarket exhaust and your even the stickers hasn't faded over the years as you can see right there and i can't tell whether this car had a respray but man this car is honestly in good condition obviously it has no power steering no air conditioning manual windows with manual mirrors a very badly torn driver's seat with a five-speed manual gearbox and as you can see it has a pioneer cd type and a sunroof that actually works this is how the car looks from the rear it even has these red seat belts and these are the original seat belts but um let me just start this vehicle because guys this car has quite a number of keys i look like a security guard here at we buy cars with all these keys i simply put the key into the ignition and yeah oh yeah no police help police help help okay so in order to open the sunroof i have to press this button once and the sunroof opens yo luxury in this Toyota conquest so guys let's hear how this 90s japanese car sounds Now guys, that is how a 90s Japanese car sounds. So like I said, this car is powered by a 1.6 liter 16 valve motor. And by the way, a sunroof will definitely make you look cool. But um, they don't say this car has any mechanical issues. And yeah, as you can see, this is how the motor looks. They don't say this car has any mechanical issues. It has no service history and a fuel consumption of 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers. So yeah, this is another car for today. Perfect. I never knew we buy cars as golf carts. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Tell them you're buying the Range Rover. Tell them, yeah. yeah you, you look rich. <laughs> she's shy. She's, she's, she's buying a Range Rover now. Yeah. Ah, she's walking away. <laughs> So guys, the first car at the Richmond branch in Cape Town is this 2015 Opel Astra GTC. And this car is powered by a 1.6 liter turbocharged motor that puts out 132 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 8.3 seconds. So effectively, this car puts out the same power output as a Ford Fiesta ST. And it sends all its power to the front wheels, talking about a Ford Fiesta ST. Uh... So this car sends all its power to the front wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox and is going for 99,000 Rand with 110,000 kilometers on the clock. The reason for the green ticker sticker is because both the front tires are smooth as you can see right there. The rear view mirror is broken and one of the rear seat belts are defective but it's riding on the standard 19 inch wheels wrapped with Yokohama tires all around. As you can see the wheel is a bit curbed. The front bumper doesn't line up properly and like I said in one of my previous videos that I'm very OCD when it comes to the lining of bumpers bonnets fenders and yeah this is how the car looks from the rear it's legitimately a opal astra opc light because it's a gtc and not an opc it has rear parking sensors with a rear little exhaust and let's see how the car looks from this side so honestly from my point of view guys this car is in great condition there's no weird scratches no weird dents and um Let's see how the car looks from the inside. So it has full lead interior, air conditioning, power steering, a six-speed manual gearbox with cruise control, voice control. Something that is really annoying in the car that I have is that it has a voice control button, but voice control is not available in my vehicle. But yeah, guys, let's see how the motor looks because this car is powered by a 1.6 liter German motor that puts out 132 kilowatts so it's quite nippy and at least from the decra report this car has no mechanical issues it has no service history and a fuel consumption of 6.8 liters per 100 kilometers i don't see any weird oil leaks or water leaks um 
nothing so yeah this is pretty much another car for today oh yeah nah. just close the bonnet here as i so if you guys are trying to focus if all your friends drive german cars japanese cars but you want to be that one guy that drives a different car they have this 2012 Renault Megane Coupe. Now, this car is powered by a 1.4 litre turbocharged motor that puts out 96 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 9.6 seconds. So, this car looks faster than it is, but it sends all its French power to the front wheels via a 6 speed manual gearbox and it's going for 79,000 Rand with 123,500 kilometers on the clock. And the reason for this green decker sticker is because the indicator lights on the door mirrors are defective, the driver's side seat belt is torn, and all also this car is leaking oil which is something bad because this car isn't even that high mileage but it has these aftermarket wheels wrapped with Vito tires and both the rear wheels are wrapped with one continental tire and also one Pirelli tire as you can see that's how the car looks from this side this car actually goes up against something like the Opel Astra GTC but the Opel Astra produce way more power let's see how it looks from the inside so this car has electric windows electric mirrors power steering air conditioning cruise control with a six-speed manual gearbox and this is how the car looks from the rear so the interior is in good condition and some of you guys might say that these cars are not as reliable and by the way i think this might be the oil from this particular vehicle as you can see right there it also has these minor scratches on the front bumper some of you guys might say these cars are unreliable but i mean only people that has these cars will be able to tell whether these cars are unreliable something that i want to know in the comment section down below because this is something that i have been you know contemplating over years now is 100 german kilowatts the same as 100 french or japanese kilowatts let me know in the comment section down below so they do specify that this motor is leaking oil it has no service history and a fuel consumption of 6.6 .6 liters per 100 kilometers and as you can see right here this car does have um traces of oil sweat but yeah guys this is pretty much another car for today yo vw tiguan r oh my word guys damn i have no words no words yes sir. yo next level so the second last car for today is for anyone who wants to try and force looking cool so this is a badly damaged 2014 ford fiesta st it's powered by a 1.6 liter turbocharged motor that puts out 132 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 6.9 seconds and all its power are being sent to the front wheels via a six-speed manual gearbox this car is listed at a cash price of just over 100,000 rand it has 170,000 kilometers on the clock and the reason for the green decker sticker is because both the front headlights are broken the steering is noisy and all four tires are smooth but i've never seen a ford fiesta st in such a condition as you can see from this angle the front bumper is damaged quite badly and in my opinion it looks like this car was in some type of accident even the front wheel is curbed more to the inside and on this side they tried to connect the front bumper with a fender but these are the standard 17 inch wheels wrapped with different tire brands for example this is a Sava tire it has a Dunlop tire a Sumito tire and also a Velocity tire this car has smash and grab windows and from this angle it's quite neat from the rear to be honest it has rear parking sensors with keyless entry you guys will notice that this side skirt is super loose so i bet at some point this side skirt will fall off but like i said guys in my opinion looks like this car was in some type of accident it has obviously your electric windows electric mirrors it has plus and minus buttons to do plus and minus things i don't even know how you get a gear knob to look like this insane but you have power steering air conditioning rear seats for rear passengers honestly i can't show you guys how the engine bay looks because the bonnet lever is broken but they don't say this car has any mechanical issues surprisingly it has no service history and a fuel consumption of 5.9 liters per 100 kilometers so yeah this is the second last vehicle for today
last cheap car at WeBuy Cars that will make you look cool is this 2001 Audi A1 and it's powered by a 1.4 litre turbocharged motor that puts out 90 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 8.9 seconds. All its power are being sent to the front wheels via a 6 speed manual gearbox and this car is listed at a cash price of 73,900 Rand. It has 235,331 kilometers on the clock. It's a lot of threes in the kilometers but the reason for the green decker sticker is because the rear right tire is smooth there's one nut missing on all four wheels and the left dim light is defective this car is riding on 17 inch wheels wrapped with dalmax tires and you will notice that the fender is dented the front bumper doesn't line up properly and these wheels are curved quite badly but it has indicators on the door mirrors with smash and grab windows keyless entry and honestly the exterior is not too bad i mean it's not in terrible condition it has twin exhaust here at the back so overall the exterior is in good condition and keep in mind they say this tire is super smooth it has even a a, 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 a speaker what you call it in english guys afrikaans is my home language what is what is speaker in english um i can't remember but <laughs> let me know in the comment section down below this car is locked but like I said, you have a six-speed manual gearbox with air conditioning, power steering, electric windows, electric mirrors, with cruise control, voice control, and a speaker is actually called a nail in English. You see, I keep on forgetting these simple terms, but guys, this car doesn't have a full service history and a fuel consumption of 5.3 liters per 100 kilometers. So yeah, this is the last cheap car at WeBuy Cars that will make you look cool. So guys, our bonus car for today is a 2004 Mazda RX-8. This car is powered by a 1.3 liter bi-rotor engine that puts out 170 kilowatts with a 0 to 100 time of 6.4 seconds. It sends all its power to the rear wheels via a 6-speed short shift manual gearbox and it has no price but this car is low mileage, 77,000 k's on the clock. It's a new arrival here at We Buy Cars. It's riding on 18 inch wheels wrapped with tires I've never heard of before. But keep in mind that Mazda is the only automotive company in the world to commercialize rotary engine vehicles. But man, yo, this car gives me need for speed vibes. The exterior of the car does justify the mileage. And I never thought that I would see a Mazda with doors from a Rolls Royce. So basically that is your driver's side door. And here you have another door for two rear passengers so just look at this yeah but obviously a mazda is more reliable than a rolls royce this car has your electric windows electric mirrors power steering air conditioning a two-tone leather interior with a six-speed short shift manual gearbox so let me just start this car and give you guys a cold start so i have to put the key into the ignition like a lot of old cars and so before i start this vehicle let me just open the sunroof by pressing this button yo this car gives me need for speed vibes okay so i'm basically gonna place my phone at the back of the vehicle so that you guys can hear how this car sounds guys now that is the sound of a naturally aspirated rotary motor so basically um you know these motors aren't produced anymore because according to statistics they are not as reliable and not eco-friendly so basically you can't really see what's going on underneath this plastic cover but let me know in the comment section down below how much this car will be priced at we buy cars and how capable these engines actually are but yeah guys this is our bonus car Perfect. for today